One, I'm sure you guys have followed the Brett Favre story. <laughs> Everybody knows what happened by now with the welfare frauds and everything. Um, welcome to my second weekly gripe where I express my opinion. I don't give a damn what to say about it, but I will I will watch your comments. Um, because this is my opinion. But I'm sure you guys have seen the Brett Favre story. And I'm sure, and me personally, my 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 problem with it goes deeper than what everyone to talk about. Number one, this is just another layer of bad news for the state. After finding out their water is fucked up like Flint's was, and the governor with his tank of water outside his mansion was cool. Oh, my water works fine. But then you want to try to blame. First, look, before I get to Brett Favre, let me uh, explain this little fact for those who don't know. Because y'all want to play politics, Democrat, Republican, and all this mess. When Joe Biden originally, this was before the water, this, this was before the uh, water got screwed up. Um, when when that rescue plan. But the infrastructure got passed. Joe Biden, you know, gave it up money for the states. It was up to the states to take the money. The governor didn't take the money. Mistake number one. That actually could have prevented what happened in which the rains happened, the floods happened, and somehow, which we already know what somehow means, somebody using, well, somebody not doing their job, somebody falling asleep. <clears throat> oh my God, how did fresh water get in with sewer water? What the? Oh shit, I'm so fired. No, you didn't get fired. Because somehow it got covered up. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna leave that one alone. That's basically how that happened. Uh, but I, but I see you took money this time to try to clean that up and still try to play politics. But again, that's not what I'm here for. On the heels of that, back to Brett Favre with your little welfare scam, a scam that if any of us did. We'd be in the headlines too for five minutes because we already been arrested. So once we once we've been arrested, no more headlines. Yeah, Henry Campbell was taken to jail for this, so to get all that. Um, problems with that. For one thing, it's almost like y'all really don't care. Okay, his reputation is tarnished, but. That's some jail time. What's what's up with the jail time? I mean, you still a lot of money. Now, however, they do want to make this racial again. You know, just like my last break, they want to make it racial. Well, women do it all the time. Welfare queens and blah, blah, blah. Let me explain something to you. And I'm not justifying them either. Economically. This is done out of need. We don't have a disposable income to where when we, we, in other words, we don't have extra money like Brett Favre does. Brett Favre had a fortune. He's in the damn Hall of Fame. But you want to take extra money and build your daughter a soccer stadium. Why couldn't you invest the money and build your daughter a soccer stadium? Why couldn't you have borrowed some money? And see, everything like right. There's steps we got to take to get from point A to point B. And you just stole those steps from us. 
especially by cheating the system. Let's talk about Michael Vick. The man y'all still haven't forgiven yet. Let me tell you about Michael Vick. Yes, there was dog fighting on his property. Now, if anybody actually read the headlines or if anybody actually researched it, he was not there. It was just actually on his property. But because it was on his property, by the time he went to trial, everybody was throwing him under the bus, so he decided he was going to throw himself under the bus. Hey, it was on my property. I, so, you know, everybody, so basically, he went, he went to prison. He realized who his true friends really were. He got out and fought his way back. See, he wasn't given anything. He had to fight his way back to the NFL, where he still played a good number of years. Everybody protested, yeah, dog killing, nah, nah, and look. So in other words, a lot of you Christian hypocrites <laughs> don't believe in redemption. Because you guys still talk about Michael Vick to this day, and he shouldn't even be in the Hall of Fame. He did this, he did that, he did that. He did... He did something wrong. Yes. He paid for it. Yes. There's a lot of you guys out here that does less. And get mad because people bring it up. And in fact, I brought Michael Vick up because y'all talk about Michael Vick ten times more than you talk about what Brett Favre did. By the time that incident happened with the dog fighting, Michael Vick was everywhere. Michael Vick was even arrested very quickly. A lot more quickly than the guy who stole millions of dollars from the welfare system to, uh, to build a soccer stadium. Any, any athlete out here doing bad right now Y'all talked about a lot more than Brett Favre. At this point. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying later, I'm going to come up at this point because see something needs to change. The Boston Celtics coach who cheated on Neil Long, which personally <laughs> didn't really even need a headline, you know, that was, again, between him and Neil Long, and okay, I, and, you know, I guess it was a fireable offense because, you know, I guess he had to fire off some morality clause, morality clause or what have you. That is even in the headlines ten times more than Brett Favre. And I can't help but believe, again, that's more of a racial thing. Oh no, they go here they be talking about racial, race stuff again. No. Because tell me one athlete. You know, NFL already has kind of a black eye for looking for, for turning his back on you know, you know, people who rape or people who beat their wives, you know, I'm not gonna go into these specifics, but this has happened. They have I'm not gonna say well, I'm not gonna say they turned that back, but there was recently a rapist, well, an alleged rapist. I'm not gonna go there, that's gonna actually be my next gripe. There's an alleged rapist right now playing and if I think he just got suspended. Uh just got suspended by the NFL. But uh, still, he's being investigated. So, what's my point? Why is he rambling on? He's rambling on to say this. 
in terms of what God looks at, y'all think God, see, when y'all think of what God looks at, y'all think he's looking at Porky and people who, people who have illicit sex and all this. You don't think God looking at the fosters and the people who are stealing from others and the people who are actually hurting others? The hell. So the fact that, so you guys just ignored the fact that Jesus actually went into his church, went into the temple to find out men were gambling in the church and got angry and kicked tables over and was highly upset because they turned his house into everything but a place of worship. You don't think he's looking at that? You don't think he's looking at hypocrisy? We all should be ashamed. I'm not just talking about y'all. We all should be ashamed as a people. Michael Vick was definitely ashamed. That's why he went. That's why he went to prison. That's why he did that. That's why he fought away by the NFL. He didn't. He never talked smack about it. He just did his job. And y'all still hate this man to this day. No, we can't talk about Brett Favre. What is wrong with y'all? Right, folks. I'm done with y'all.